guys, so today I thought I would bring you along to a Lolita high tea event that I'm going to. I'm gonna get ready, of course, because um, I'm not ready yet, but is that a motorbike? Hey guys, I'm back and I'm doing a voiceover just for this little bit. Uh, my neighbor got a new motorbike and yeah, he just likes playing with it and it's yeah really loud, I suppose. <laughs> So, getting straight into it, I have my skincare all done, I have blue contacts in today, and I trimmed my bangs. I've never had them this short, but to be honest, I really like them. Jumping right into it, I'm going ahead with my concealer. This is one from Urban Decay, it's just their like stay naked range, which I do really enjoy. I wanted to do a chit chat get ready with me, because uh, I have really like fun, exciting news to share with you. Um, so I'm just going to share it like this, I suppose, in the same kind of format. It's kind of easier to talk without worrying about, uh, I don't know, stuffing up my makeup, to be honest. I'm using my foundation now, which is also from Urban Decay, part of their Stay Naked range as well. So here it is, the announcement that I wanted to share with you. So if we remember, I was having a horrible time working as a chef. I uh, ended up quitting that job, which was the best decision for my mental health and well-being ever. And yeah, we started a journey of trying to get into university to become a teacher. I started the whole process pretty late. So the university like shut down over Christmas. So I had no idea of anything until just last week when they opened up again. And so I'm super happy to be able to tell you that I got in. I have been accepted into university. I'm going to be studying this year and I really can't believe it. It's such a unusual, exciting and really scary feeling. I, um, I know I'm going to need a lot of help academically to keep up with my other uh, students what are they called colleagues no no <laughs> i'm too used to being in a job ah students i guess my fellow students i'm gonna need help to keep up with them in all honesty so that's what i'm a little bit scared of i know that uh, i might struggle but i want to do my best so yeah that's my news i'm officially a poor student and i could not be happier about the situation <laughs> I'm just going in with some of my powder foundation now. This is the one from Ramel, which is like our drugstore brand, I'm pretty sure. It's like super cheap makeup, that works pretty well to be honest. But yep, I'm just going over and setting the whole of my face. I'm packing on some loose, like translucent powder under my eyes. I'm doing this to bake my eyes a little bit, but mostly it's to catch any of the fallout from my eyeshadow. Just filling in my eyebrows now. I've run out of the shade that I usually like to use, so I have to use another shade, which isn't my favorite. Uh, but now I'm a poor student, so too bad. It looks like that's gonna be my eyebrow color for the foreseeable future. Having my bangs so short uh, really shows off my eyebrows, I suppose. You could see them a lot more. I feel like it frames them and stuff like that, which I do quite like because I honestly used to have the worst eyebrows ever. When I was a kid, I took a razor and like shaved in between them because I had a little bit of a mo, you know, like everybody, monobrow, I mean, not mustache. I also had that, but um, yeah, man. So I effed up my eyebrows really early in life and had to deal with super ugly brows like my entire teenagehood. It's only been when I like turned 20 did I kind of grow them out and get them looking normal and nice again. And so now I really love them. Um, but they used to be one of my biggest insecurities. So it's funny how some things can change, I suppose. I'm using my Jawbreaker palette now to create my eyeshadow look. I'm going to go for like a white slash blue look. Well, mostly blue, but um, it's to suit my dress. So the dress that I have is a beautiful Alice in Wonderland print. I absolutely love it. It's really quite a sweet dress, but it really leans itself towards classic Lolita, which is what I'm aiming for a little bit today. I mean, I'm a sweet addict, full stop, so it's going to be a bit sweet. But the venue that we're going to for this high tea is quite classic. So I really wanted it to, you know, suit the venue a little bit just to get some cute photos in the background and stuff. And I don't know, look like I, I suit the place. I'm using the Brain Freeze color from this palette, which is so lovely. It is such a nice blue and I really adore blue eyeshadow. I mean, sometimes if you don't do it quite right, well, in my case anyways, sometimes it can look like you just have a black eye and someone's punched you in the face or something. <laughs> so blue, blue can be a little bit tricky to work with, but it's really cute. And I think with the blue dress and my blue contacts, it really just looks stunning. 
So now that I am officially enrolled as a student and also all the madness of like New Year's and Christmas is over, I'm going to start looking for a part-time job. So I need to sort out my CV first, my like resume or whatever. I need to add on my last employment onto there and then I can start looking for part-time work. I definitely need a little bit more income to help pay for bills and things like that. I I can't survive just off the student allowance. Um, and th that's cool that we do have student allowance here in New Zealand. So what happens is if you're in a certain position like I am, say your parents don't live here, you are out flatting or living in a house kind of thing the government uh, will give you some money for you to survive every week I suppose uh, and you're allowed to earn a little bit of money on top of that so that's what I plan to do just work one to two days a week I don't want it to I don't know encroach too much on my studies I know that I'm gonna need longer to study for certain things um, just because I am a bit slower at reading and stuff like that but yes no very exciting to be yeah looking for some part-time work later I suppose fingers crossed I get something good <laughs> So now I'm brushing off all of that excess translucent powder under my eyes so I can start contouring. Yay! So this is just that NARS contour palette that I own. I just put it on the sides of my nose to help pinch it inwards somewhat. I'm going to pop it like around the tip of my nose as well to create a little like button nose effect. My lord, how many times can I say nose? Um, yeah, just simple quick easy contour today i'm going to pop it under my uh, cheeks as well just to chisel it out a little bit look a little more sharp i don't always do this but sometimes i feel like it surprise surprise now for one of my favorite products it's blush <laughs> so i'm going to be adding it to the bottom of my nose some to my chin and also heaps underneath my eyes and onto my temples this is just the blush from uh, etude house it's called their lovely cookie blush and i think i have the super pink version which um yeah it's really cute i love it loads and loads of blush i feel like i always am wearing more than actually comes up on camera like in real life it's pretty intense which i like so back to the eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and add the Brain Freeze Blue to underneath my eyes. Now that I'm just working with a little bit of eyeshadow, I'm not worried about having heaps of fallout or anything. It's only a tiny bit. You are able to brush it away quite easily. Uh, so I'm just blending it in, making it look smooth. And now I'm adding some white eyeshadow to the inner corner of my eyes to make everything, yeah, nice and seamless. At this point, I decided the look was a little boring, so I went ahead and added some glitter. Glitter always helps. Um, so this is just one from like ColourPop. I think it's their Super Shock highlighter, to be honest. It's like a blue highlight. So I'm just using my finger to kind of press it onto my eyelid, mostly focusing on the first half, if that makes sense. <laughs> not not all over the entire lid, although it probably looks like it, to be honest. So now I'm going in with my all-time favorite face highlighter. I have raved about this since doing my first ever makeup video on YouTube. It is just their ColourPop uh, Super Shock highlighter. This one's called Flexitarian, I'm pretty sure. I absolutely adore it. So I've always used my fingers slash that little super compact kind of eyeshadow brush that you've seen for this highlighter. But just recently, oh my gosh, can you see? I realized my bristle brush actually works really nicely in this highlighter. I kind of assumed it didn't because of the putty-like consistency. And for some reason it took me forever to just dip it in and give it a go. But now it's my favorite. I really love using this kind of yeah, bristly brush to do my cheekbones and also my cupid's bow. It's a little bit less concentrated, but still looks really frosty and cute. And now eyeliner, but off camera because I suck. Hey guys, sorry, as soon as I tried to film this video, my neighbor started playing with her motorbike and it's way too loud to talk. So hopefully I did some voiceover stuff. Um, but now I'm back, I've put on my eyeliner and my fake lashes. I kind of trimmed my fake la eyelashes and now they're like awkward and short and I'm not super into them. So that was a bummer. I also added love hearts to my face because last time I wore this coordinate, I did something similar like that. And I mean, it is super like e-girly now or whatever, but mate, it's cute. I like it. I like the little touch of white. It's going to go with my outfit pretty nicely. Um, I'm just going to do my lips now. So I have a little bit of lip liner I found. Not like this, it was in the pencil, but it fell out of the pencil. I'm gonna use this and then fill my lips. My friend is meant to be here in about five minutes, so I'm gonna be helping her get ready. I'm not ready myself. I haven't even put on my accessories or gotten dressed or anything, so I'm a little stressed out for time, but let's just put this on. That would help, that would help. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I just broke it in half. It's gonna be even harder to use now, but I still really love it. I'm gonna keep it and keep using it. Am I a hoarder? My friends and family would say yes. So I use this lip tint all over the majority of my lips. I um I really like this tint on top of that lip liner. I don't know if that's, I don't know, mixing unusual products, but it works pretty nicely. So I need to continue getting ready actually. I need to put on my accessories, get dressed. I wanted to bring you along today a little bit, but um, I don't film heaps of like my friends who are there kind of thing, unless they want to be on camera. But like, you know, I want, it's, I, I always like living in the moment, that's what I'm trying to say, and I don't like having like a camera out and like shoving it in people's faces and like I like taking some shots casually, but yeah man, I'll show you as much as I can and stuff, but I still want the event to be really special and fun for me in person there with my friends. It's going to be one of my friends' first time there and it's a really big event actually, maybe there's like 15? I think it's 14, but some people don't have Facebook, so it's like 15 or 16 of us. So it's gonna be huge, man. I'm really, I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, what am I doing? Accessories. I'm putting in my accessories, and yeah, I will try to show you my outfit before I go, my full coordinate, um, so you can see what it's like. I restyled this dress to one of the last times that I wore it, which I actually made a video for that time, but I didn't like the way I styled the dress that much. It was just too many colors. I was trying to do too much. So this time, it's totally more classic, and I feel like it's going to suit the venue like that, being quite classic. Still super sweet, I suppose, because I love Sweet Lolita. But um, yeah, man. All right, putting on accessories. I'm getting dressed, and then I'll show you. Hey guys, I'm done. So we're in a super rush. We should have left already to go pick up another friend of ours. My friend is here already. We got together. I mean, we got ready together. Oh, I'm in such a mumbly rush. I just wanted to show you my outfit like quickly before we left. So I have all of my accessories in, some wings, some bows, this bow here. I made a lot of accessories for this outfit. That's one of my like Lolita goals for the year, I suppose, is to make more accessories to suit coordinates that I already have. I don't want to spend much more money on huge, like, big orders, so yes, more handmade things will be fun. Um, so I did make this choker here, which is just a super simple, easy one. I made little macaron earrings and the piece de resistance, is it? <laughs> I made this little bunny tart. So this is a Alice in Wonderland themed, it says, eat me, and it's kind of like, you know, I guess the little, like, cake that she ate, inspired by, isn't it? It's got the bunny and stuff so yeah those those were the things I made I'll show you my outfit and then mate we gotta go that's it that's it so see you soon So I'm in the bathroom and I'm whispering and it's probably echoing and there's like a buzzing. But yes, I've just arrived. I've left everybody in the room because one of my earrings like fell off and so I had to like tie it and put it back on and I hate being in such a rush. I don't know why I'm always rushing around. Like I woke up early but whatever. Um, I'm here so yeah, let me go show you around the place. So this is the private room that we booked out for our high tea. It is decorated so beautifully. I love the china and the little flowers on the table. You can see it's a really nice big long table for the huge meetup. And here is the high tea. Oh, so cute. So actually I didn't get high tea. Um, I got Devonshire tea, which you can see now. It's just two little scones and uh, some Sammies. Way more affordable as a poor student, but still super yummy. So I had a wonderful time. I had coffee. Coffee, loads of tea, and here I am stuffing my face. Yum yum. <laughs> so this is the venue. When you first walk in, we have chandelier, and just through here is where we had tea. So it's like halfway through the meetup. So she said we're allowed to like wander around the house and check out the rooms. I think it's a homestead, if that's the right word. Let's just come through here. Oh my gosh, yeah. So you can like 
rent it out like it's a hotel I suppose but um it's really cool she said nobody's here so we can wander around and like take photos and stuff and that's, that's really cool man oh I'm so white <laughs> near the window the bathroom is super beautiful can you see it imagine sitting in that bath there and like looking around outside <laughs> okay let's run around some more of the rooms before everybody else is up here <laughs> This room is really cute. I like the wallpaper. I feel like it kind of suits my outfit, actually. Cute, and they have big curtains. Man, this is a sweet high tea. It's cool to be able to run around a house, I don't know, and take cool photos in lots of rooms. And here's me in my outfit with my lovely little bunny. This is basically a uh, fanny pack, because she is a tiny little bag. So this is like Usakumia, I think. <laughs> I'm so awful at pronouncing. But it's Baby the Star Shines Bright, little mascot. So she's actually a little bag, and I put it on this thing. So it's basically a fanny pack. Look at this, I'm bringing fanny packs into my Lolita. I love it. <laughs> So I'm home again, yay! Um, the meetup was heaps of fun, as always. Hanging out with your friends is always like lovely, isn't it? But um, my camera died while I was there, which I expected. I forgot to bring my spare battery with me because I was in like such a panicky rush when I was leaving, trying to get like all of my last little bits. I just forgot it. Um, I got a couple of shots of people's outfits, so hopefully I can use them and show you guys what some people were wearing and stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't get everybody, but yeah, my bad. I'll remember the battery next time. But yeah, it was it was excellent. We really liked this place actually because like they didn't kick us out after a certain amount of time, which was really handy, especially when you have such huge meetups. Like that one, I think there was maybe 16 of us in total. Like it's quite a lot of people. And when you're sitting at a big long table, you're only really actually interacting with the part of the table that you're with. Like so it's like the same four people or so, however many people can hear you. So it was nice to have like I think we spent four hours in total, so probably two of them were eating and blabbing, but in the other two hours we got to like wander around the entire like homestead thing and like take photos of different rooms and get to talk to like everybody else kind of thing and so we really enjoyed that aspect. I think that we're all really keen to go back there again for the next kind of really big meet because we do have lots of like little small ones like going to the movies or getting bubble tea. They're kind of just like friendship meetups but we also all wear Lolita because we love it. Um, so yeah, what am I saying? It was really cool. It was fabulous. It was yummy. I had the bottomless cup of coffee, which was fabulous. Just keep getting refills and stuff. So we had a couple first timers today who had never been to a meetup before. One was my friend Alice, who I like helped her get ready here um, and stuff. But yeah, it's really cool to have like, I don't know, newbies come along and like join the community because we want our community to be really big and flourishing. And you know, we want people to love this fashion and love the, the history and the, the culture and the, the community that you make I suppose because we all you know become really good close friends through it so it was a lot of fun to meet yeah a new person who came along and then my friend who was new who hadn't been to one before it was yeah I always enjoy that I like it a lot if you want to find a community for yourself honestly the best place is Facebook um, which I don't use for anything else apart from like messenger and organizing events and stuff like that but just type in Lolita and then wherever you're from and something might pop up and if it doesn't make something you know uh, I don't know like you having a community is a really lovely part of loving this fashion and loving everything that comes with it I suppose so yeah man if, if you can find one like that that's really nice otherwise just have an online community you know I know a lot of people like Amino uh, for the community on there but I think Facebook is still pretty good there's good old ruffle chat that's a bit of fun I post in there sometimes no actually never have I <laughs> I just comment on things and like stuff but 
Anyways, it was a really good meetup. It was it was really a lot of fun today. I was much happier with how I coordinated this outfit. Last time I wore it, I wasn't super into it, so I'm really glad today's one worked out a little bit better. Yeah, it was it was good. So thank you a lot for watching. You know, I always really appreciate you being here with me. It's a shame I didn't get to talk while I did my makeup um, because my neighbor was playing with his motorbike or whatever. It was it was way too loud. Yeah, that was a bummer. But I always like, I don't know, having someone to share something with. It's quite nice. Uh, so yes, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it enough. And yeah, man, I hope that I get to see you in my next video as well. Bye.